A while back, I read about a famous mathematician for the 1600s who noticed that when he would hang up multiple pendulum clocks in his house, they'd eventually sync up their swings and then they'd just stay that way. So he wondered, just like I did when I first read this, how are these purely mechanical clocks that weren't touching somehow communicating with each other and after a period of time, agreeing to swing in perfect unison. And since the unofficial motto of Crunch Labs is think like an engineer, I decided to create an experiment to test this for myself. So we got four clocks and put them on the wall and after four days, Nothing happened. But when you're thinking like an engineer, you know that's not a failure, that's a clue. So I reread the story and picked up on an important detail I'd missed the first time. The clocks weren't mounted on a wall in the way we think of today. It said they were mounted on the same wooden beam that made up part of the wall. And given the construction methods of the 1600s, there's a good chance that board had a little wiggle to it. And that wiggle is a very important detail. Here's what I mean. If I swing this sledgehammer pendulum below me while standing on firm ground, then it's just the sledgehammer pendulum that you see moving.